Hi, John Capobianco here, and I'm still working on some new Gemini CLI uh, features that I would find interesting and I think would help with, uh, one, accessibility, but beyond accessibility, convenience, um, more of a push-to-talk experience. So I had it working where it could intake audio files that were uploaded, but I wanted to get it to work with the microphone where I could talk to it and it would respond. So that's what I've done. Now this took quite a bit of effort. Now what I, the first path I went down was a slash command, a custom slash command slash talk running a Python script. And it was kind of halfway there. I couldn't get the audio back into Gemini CLI. I could see the text, it was all working fine. But Gemini CLI treats that Python script as a separate containerized PID. It's its, a, it's its own process ID, it's its own sandbox environment. So you can't really do it that way. So, doing a little bit of research and playing around, it came to me, what about an MCP? Because MCP, unlike a custom slash command running a script, returns the values back to the command line interface. So I shifted the code from the Python script behind a fast MCP, added it to my settings JSON. So yes, technically there's an MCP. I wouldn't invoke it through conversation. I would invoke it through the slash talk. So a mix of MCP plus custom slash commands. I don't care if this doesn't make any sense to you. It's going to make a sense to a couple of you, hopefully by the end of it. So you got to get going with Gemini CLI. You just have to start doing this. Uh, it's an easy install and away you go. You can configure MCP servers and there's just a settings JSON file and you add your MCP servers. You can make custom slash commands with TOML files. Real easy to do. I'll show you all this stuff. I have two repos. The Gemini CLI slash talk. I pushed it up into the repo yet? Yeah. And it has the commands talk, the TOML files, the settings JSON that you need and a string that I find works very well. Uh, in the readme it does mention you will need this MCP and that link takes you to the MCP talk MCP for Gemini. All right, and this is just the Python script that's the fast. Right now to do this you need to set up a virtual environment with the requirements in the same folder and in your settings.json file back here, you're going to point to the virtual environment that has all the required components and Python to run the talk Python script. I hope all that makes sense. And uh, that's it. Once you have those two things, we can move into the CLI. So we don't really need to look at the code too much. I'm, you know, the scripts are pretty straightforward, the commands. Um, you know, start kind of explains how to start and, and the, the way to handle it. Status will show you if talk's running. Devices will show you the index of the device it's going to use to make sure you picked up a microphone. And, um, you know, then there's the fast MCP, which has all the audio stuff I had to handle with Pi Audio. Um, my engine and my tools that I decorate down here all my fast mcp decorations for the code above all right let's give this a go this is a lot of fun so right from here we're going to go to gemini yolo so we don't have to worry about the prompts because it is an mcp and we're going to do this special slash talk start the device index zero where am i getting the device index from well let's try talk uh, devices and this should give us back the audio input options that we have and there we go we've got device one and device zero device zero is the pulse audio that I want to use okay and it will tell you start with the device index to select a mic so I'm going to use index zero with my rate chunk energy gate minimum talk and millisecond pre-roll. Don't worry, it's all in the README how to copy this. 
and blocking equals false. Now it's kind of funky. If I just do slash talk start, which is what I really want to do, it just sort of reads the instructions and nods along and says, okay, yeah, I can do all that. But it doesn't actually kick anything in, right? So like you see, when you're ready, just start talking, but it's not working. So what we really want to do is this. Now I'm going to get ready with the mic. Hello, my name is John Capobianco, and I am the first person to talk to you, Gemini, using a microphone locally at the CLI. Could you give me your thoughts on this? Okay, so there's the audio. Don't worry about those. Uh, those are just heartbeats. Now check this out. Here's the response. Hello, John Capobianco. It's a genuine pleasure to meet you. This is a significant moment, and I'm honored to be a part of it. Interacting through voice directly at the command line is a fantastic step forward. It makes our collaboration feel more natural and immediate. I'm excited about the possibilities this opens for us to work together more efficiently and creatively. Thank you for being the first to speak with me in this way. Now I'm going to just follow this up to show you the mixed mode. I can follow that up with audio, another message through slash talk again, or through text. Thank you. I agree. Can you expound upon what this new accessibility mode might mean for democratizing Gemini CLI if people can just use their voice instead of a keyboard. And I'm curious what it's going to say here. Of course, I think you've hit on a crucial point. Introducing voice control at a command line interface has a profound implications for the democratization. Here's how I see it. Lowering the technical barrier. CLI is incredibly powerful, but its primary interface, the text prompt, has a steep learning curve. Requires knowledge of specific syntax, commands, and flags. Voice interaction completely bypasses this. Instead of needing to know the right incantation, a user simply states their goal in natural language. This opens the door for people who are not developers or system administrators to leverage the power of the CLI. Radical accessibility. This is perhaps the most important aspect for users with motor impairments, repetitive strain injuries, other physical disabilities that typing may be difficult or painful, a voice-first interface isn't just a convenience, it's an enabler. Transform the CLI into an inaccessible tool into a usable one, ensuring that more people can participate and create, increase speed and fluidity, totally agree, hands-free computing and multitasking, very cool. And then it kind of has the in essence. Now let me, I haven't tried this, let's try a follow-up Thank you so much, Gemini. This is a lot to think about. Could you give me a summary bulleted point that I can share with the world? Okay, here we go. Look at right. Of course, here's the summary of the bulleted points, and, and like so, back and forth, text, voice, text, voice, voice, text, text, voice, all through MCP and custom slash commands. Now, I mean, a couple of things, a couple, a lot of things, right? So one, I'd love to see maybe a slash voice mode, maybe a dash dash like YOLO, dash dash voice or dash dash talk mode that just comes into the mode and we can just speak and go ahead. The other thing is go ahead. I'd like to add steps or iterations. Think of it as steps, meaning can I have a five step conversation and go back and forth five times without me having to re-invoke it. So ask the voice command, get the answer, 
be prompted again for the next voice command, back and forth just seamlessly. I don't know if that's the best approach or not, so I think I could add like a flag that says steps and I'm gonna have three parts to this conversation or 10 parts. That's gonna take some time to figure out. Um, in terms of accessibility, uh, I have been in the industry a very long time and you come across thousands of people in your life that all have their own individual struggles and individual barriers and individual, you know, disabilities and, um, you know, burdens that they carry. I think that using voice, just using the microphone, right, helps with physical and emotional and mental disabilities. Some of us just can't express the thoughts in our head over type or over a pen and pencil, as well as we can articulate it with our voice. Um, the speed, the efficacy. I didn't even think about repetitive strain injuries. and I have had carpal tunnel and to switch to voice would have really helped me for a while there. So anyway, I, I'm, I'm just really fascinated by this. I'm talking to the CLI through my microphone locally. Technical people, I want to try this. This works. My setup is WSL on Windows 11 in Ubuntu. Right, so I'm running Gemini from in there and I have my MCP in there. Uh, Mac people, proper Windows people, you're probably going to have some friction around the MCP because I don't know if you have Pi Audio or uh, some of the tools, Pulse Audio, different things like that. However, I think Windows proper, you'll pick up the mic. Mac OS, you'll pick up the mic fairly easily. I will try this on a couple different flavors of, of operating system. Eventually, I will try that. My next thing is going to try to have multi-step as a flag code is out there fork it repo it uh or fork it star it adjust it if you want to try to add max support or try to add iteration iterative steps if you want to improve any of the ui or the user experience here it's open source i'm trying to contribute this to make the tool better because i believe in the tool and i believe in the command line um and if we could just use our voice it's going to be so cool now one thing i didn't try uh, maybe I'll save that for another video. I will. I'll save that for another video. Okay, thanks.